This is the Cholo News Report for Sunday 10, March, 2019. Whilst a nationwide power outage continues, acting President Juan Guaido calls for protests in the capital of Venezuela. Activists had scuffled with police and troops ahead of the rally, meant to pressure Maduro amid the blackout, which the governing Socialist Party called an act of U.S. Sponsored. Sabotage but opposition critics derided as the result of two decades of mismanagement and corruption. The UN doctrine sometimes referred to as R2P was created to prevent mass killings such as those of Erwanda and Bosnia and places the onus on the international community to protect populations from crimes against humanity and ethnic cleansing. Thousands of Venezuelans poured into the streets of Caracas to support National Assembly leader Juan Guaido as the capital lost electrical power, again amid rising anger and frustration. Power went out again Saturday morning, though, as supporters of Guaido and the man he seeks to oust, President Nicolas Maduro, gathered for wheeling rallies. Work and school were suspended on Friday after thousands were forced to walk home on darkened highways and avenues in urban centers the night before, with a fire causing new damage to a power plant in Bolivar State, President Nicolas Maduro states the power outages are caused by us back sabotage Guaido, says the outages are due to Maduro government corruption and mismanagement. Riot police blocked protesters as thousands of people took to the streets on Saturday with tensions rising between opposition leader John Guaido and President Nicolas Maduro after Chris Isaac Venezuela emerged from the chaos of an electricity blackout. Venezuela's government suspended work and classes Friday due to a massive electricity blackout that has lasted for almost 16 hours and is affecting the majority of the country, the vice president said. Venezuelan opposition leader and self-declared acting president John Guaido speaks next to his wife Fabiana Rosales during a rally on the International Women's Day in Caracas on March 8. The rallies unfolded as power and communications failures continued to hit Venezuela, intensifying the hardship of a country paralyzed by economic and political crisis.